Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have in front of me a bottle of Trivento at Malbec Reserve 2013 from Mendoza. Uh, Trivento is the, um, it's the Argentinian outpost of um, Chilean uh, mammoth winery Concha y Toro. And uh, yes, so they, they, they've been turning up some pretty nice wine. What I've found with them is sometimes their cheaper wines do their job uh, quite a bit better than some of the more expensive wines. But there are so many wineries in Argentina, I could say the same about. Anyway, let's taste this. It smells like a lovely mouthful of dark fruit. So the things like the black currants, a bit of dark black cherries in there, a uh, bit of plum, a bit of damson, maybe some blackberry. Uh, but it also feels really quite tight and closed. And uh, we, it's, well, it's only a year old, two, well, it's May 2014 here. Uh, and it feels like a wine that, uh, which needs to, uh, needs a bit of time to blossom in the glass or in your cellar. I know you all, all have huge cellars, but um, it smells good. I'd better taste it, haven't I? Yeah, rich, dark berry fruit. A uh, bit of damson in there, a bit of blackberry, and uh, it's been in oak for a few months, and it, that's just given a little bit of um, spicy, vanilla-scented, um, yeah, an, an, an extra layer. But I, as I suspect, it feels really, really quite closed like this, and one of those wines that, uh, uh, if you're drinking it now, um, shove it in a shove it in a jug, just give it lots of lots of time to to open up, and you will be uh, it'll taste even better. Uh, as it is now, um, it still tastes pretty good straight out of the, straight out of the traps. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's a wine whose best is still to come. And I um, can't remember how much it was. It wasn't all that expensive. But it feels like if, if, if you're looking for uh, cheaper wines to stash away for a year, even a couple of years, um, it seems like a prime candidate. See you soon.